Got everybody in the pool now? Should be. All right, so you'll you'll remember when we last left off, um, you had just uh, a, a, a acquired lightsabers uh, by finding some crystals on the planet Femis. And after you defeated an Imperial uh, crew that was dispatched to try to take care of you there, uh, you got onto your ship and you discovered that uh, your your long lost mentor, who uh, had also had called you originally to come and meet you at the university on Phalar, uh, had sent a distress signal to you. Uh, this distress signal indicated that she had found an ancient Jedi temple on the planet Spinter, S P I N T I R, the planet Spinter, uh, but that it was being occupied by a servant of the dark side of the force and that she was likely about to be captured. And that's when you completely lost contact with her. Um, so you all have journeyed to Spinter and you've managed to set down, you found the temple, you've managed to set down about as close as you can to the temple uh, in a valley. And uh in you can see down at your your uh, located the party's located down at the bottom right hand side of this map and then way up at the upper left hand side you can see a mountain called Mount Telic and you can see you were able to spot this temple that was on, on Mount Telic from the air there so now the challenge is kind of getting through the terrain between where you're at and Mount Telic which lies far ahead of you there uh, and initially, you find yourself standing at the bottom of a really steep stone rise. It's got snow and ice on it. It's not particularly tall, but uh, you're going to have to uh, find some way to, to get up this rise. There's some tall evergreen trees and brush that are against the cliff face. Uh, you can see some cracks in the rock. Uh, there are... Uh, there's some ice in, in what seems like a little bit easier path uh, up to your right, but it's going to take a little bit more walking and a little bit more effort to get through that path. And so I need to know how each of you are going to try to make your way up this, uh, this small rise in the stone that uh, you see in front of you as your ship's landed. Uh, well, if the path is there, or there's another way to kind of parkour it up, <laughs> art. <laughs> yeah, you've got you've got some trees that are beside it. You've got lo what looks like a few little cracks in the ice that you might be able to climb up. You can take a path around. Mm, path of least resistance. <laughs> the, okay. So. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. So, uh, uh, so we'll start with Elias. You're going to need to make an average survival check to kind of pick okay. your way up that path. Yeah. All right. Average. Let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, and oh, giddy! <laughs> Way to start this out. <laughs> so you, you do manage to get to the top, but it takes a whole lot of effort. Uh, you're not able to pick your way through very easily. You're going to take a couple of strain on the way up, but you do have that advantage to spend as well once you get um, to the top. I will pass it on to the others saying, don't go this way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? All right, I'll go next. Okay. Okay, Dekosh manages right. to, to get up. He does take a couple of strain, but he gets up a lot faster than Elias does. <laughs> he kind of uh, picks and finds his way on through there. Speaking of which, are we still wounded and all that? Or uh, is you it... can recover all wounds and strain. Okay. I don't think anybody had any crits, but if you did, you can recover that as well. Yeah. Um, I'll go next. 
Okay. How do you want to go about it? Um, I'll take the same way, Dekash. Okay. So this will also be an average survival check. Okay. Can I provide two boosts to her? And uh, he he does provide two boosts because he uh, he has he's uh, because of his racial ability. Okay, so Sarah manages to scramble up, kind of watching Dekosh and following along behind him. Uh, she manages to pick her way through. You didn't even have your uh, boost in there. Are, and are you sure that's your survival? Yeah. It says survival. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I thought the two yellow were my boosts. Oh, no, no, no. The no. boosts. Sorry, the boosts are blue and not yellow. Oh, should yeah. I re-roll? Yeah, re-roll it. Yeah. Roll, roll okay. survival with two uh, two blue instead of two yellow. Okay. That's a pretty handy boost. Oh, that's really nice. That's even better than upgrades. Well, she still oh. makes it. Yep. But Sarah's going to take a couple of strain, but she manages uh, to get through. Doesn't really, uh, does it on her own? Doesn't really get much help from Dacosh <laughs> on this. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm a strong, independent woman. There you go. So this leaves Bruda now. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, I think that that's going to be my best uh, bet going with the survival check. Okay. Not that great still. You, you can take the two boost uh, still from Dekosh on this as well. Okay. Mm. Nice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so Bruda has some problems. Bruda's going to take a couple of strain going up. But you do have a triumph that you can spend on that. All right. I don't know what I should do with it. Eliminate the strain. <laughs> can I do that? Uh, yeah, you can cancel out the strain. I will. Uh, so it just ends up making it a really long trip is all. So you all manage to reach the top of this uh, steep climb. And and we get to the and at the top of the climb, uh, you pause a moment. You're kind of taking in the view, looking up toward the mountain. Uh, and uh, you're, you're starting to think about kind of how you're going to go about the trip that's going to lay ahead there. But uh, before you can go much further, suddenly there is kind of this flickering ghostly figure that appears in front of you. And he uh, appears to be an older Syrian male. Uh, he looks very wise. He's wearing very simple robes. And he's comprised entirely, entirely of kind of this silvery light. But there's this orb that's above him that seems to be kind of projecting down onto him. And he says, hello, I am the gatekeeper. Uh, welcome to my valley. Uh, you, you, overall, you seem to handle the climb pretty well. At least most of you did. Uh, but before I can let you go any further, I need to know, what is your purpose here? I'm going to re roll willpower to resist saying I am the key master. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters old school reference. Yeah. Um, well, it's one of those, it, it's like, I've, I'm down on the halls so like, okay, that was unexpected. Um, uh, 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 Dakash, all yours. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, here to help an old friend. Uh, an old friend. What? Uh, what can you tell me about your friend? She's a Jedi. Yes. <laughs> oh, he says, "My friend, the Jedi are long dead." 
Uh, I, I very much doubt your friend, whoever it is, is a Jedi. Well, we hope to bring them back. She's our teacher, then. How about that? Like maybe uh, she's not a Jedi, but she's... Perhaps you're, you're speaking of a woman that's come into the temple recently. I believe her name is, uh, what's, what, uh, what did she say her name was? He kind of acts like he's thinking. He says, uh, Romand, Hethon Romand. Is that familiar to you? Yes. Yep. That would be the one. Uh, he says, I have some grave news for you. She's in, she's in, uh, dire straits right now. Well, that is why we're here. Yep. Can you tell us anything about her situation? She's uh, being held prisoner in the temple at the top of the mountain by a servant of the dark side by the name of Malifax. Um, and uh, he and uh, his minions are slowly corrupting this ancient Jedi temple that I've been left behind to guard. I alone am left behind to guard. Temple is being corrupt by a guy whose name sounds like an insurance company? Malifax. <laughs> Malifax. <laughs> Played. So what can you tell us about this Malifax? I, I know very little except uh, he's come here trying to seek out the secrets of the dark side of the Force. He seems to be uh, partially mad. So, crazy dark side absorbed wannabe holding somebody prisoner, corrupting what is a hologram. Sounds like we need to go take care of this. Uh, so, point us in the right direction. <laughs> All right. He, um, he says, I, I, um, I'm afraid that as a gatekeeper, it's my responsibility to make sure that only people who are worthy can move forward and enter into the temple, even if it's in its current corrupted state. Um, I, I need you to impress on me that you're capable and worthy of, of entering into that temple before I can give you any assistance. How do we prove that we're worthy? Like, you're, you, you need to figure out a way to interact with him in some way or another uh, to, to convince him. Isn't he just a hologram? Can we just walk past him? You could if you want to, but if you want his no. help, if you want his help, you may want to do something. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, <All> right, pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Show him our lightsabers. I don't know. And yeah, it's going to be taking more than that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's one of those he's going to evaluate not so much on the physical ability, but on our state of mind and what, what we're looking to do. So what is our purpose? You know, uh, why do we seek the temple? You know, and uh, what's your favorite color? I don't know. So... <laughs> Mine is sea green, if anyone's asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, how about this gatekeeper? We will uh, forge ahead and try to make it to the temple, and you can evaluate us on how we do. Hey, he says, uh, your, your conditions are acceptable. Uh, so I, I want you to now make a, uh, a, a charm check. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Just a I'm regular a... charm check or average? And, and anyone that wants to can kind of make it. I, I can do it. I forgot. I'm, I'm fairly decent at that. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be against uh, a uh, red and two purple. Well, maybe not that good, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I should have muted that. <laughs> Alright, so Dekosh is sweating this for sure as he's trying to convince the gatekeeper that you're 
uh, worthy of at least uh, being tested. But he's successful, and the gatekeeper says, uh, very well, you can proceed. Let's proceed together into the valley. And this orb just kind of floats over him and projects an image of him downward as he walks, or, or as, uh, as you walk along the way, he, he, uh, he's going to travel with you. Hmm. Okay. Oh, good. We got the little Zelda fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, All right, well. Hey! <laughs> so you come along to a bridge. Uh, you see there's this big um, lake uh, that's that it kind of spreads on into, and then there's a path that's on ahead. Uh, without much trouble at all, you manage to follow this path on. Uh until you come to some ruins. And when you arrive at these ruins, um, you see a set of pretty primitive looking uh, creatures that uh, there's a total of nine of them. And uh, they, they're all facing you. Uh, as you walk in, let me go ahead and put you on onto the board. We got Elias, we got Dakosh, we got Bruda, we got Syra. And you, you, you see them and the gatekeeper says, yes, these hunters, uh, they're approaching our position now. Their minds have been clouded by the dark side of the force uh, because of the corruption that's in my temple. Uh, he says, I'd, I would like to suggest that you just evade them now, but the truth of the matter is, is they're going to continue to come after you as long as you, uh, you continue through the valley. I'm afraid they're going to be too big of an obstacle. Uh, uh, he says, but I would be grateful if uh, you would leave as many of them alive as possible. They're victims here and not... Uh, do, do what you need to to discourage them, but leave as many of them as alive as possible. They're victims as much as they are uh, criminals here. Uh, is there any way we could use the force to fix their brains? Does anyone have effect mine? Uh, no. I have Jedi mind trick, and that's it. She has the influence. She has the influence, the influence. power. She could try using it on one or two of them. There's no way she's going to be able to use it on all of them. And they're going to be in range uh, pretty quickly. Mm. One of them, They're kind of wading through the water, moving towards you right now. It's clear they're intending to attack you when they get into range. They're not quite in range yet, though. Are they melee, or do they have... They appear to be carrying uh, slug thrower type weapons, which you'd think of as like rifles. They actually throw physical objects at you, as opposed to blasters that do energy bolts. Okay. And there's a total of three groups of them, and each of those groups has, uh, has three members in it. No, well, there goes that plan. I thought there were three. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see. Hmm. And the gatekeeper's kind of floating along here, yeah, watching yeah. you. So basically, we're looking to get in there, right? Well, you're looking to. You, you could possibly try to evade the hunters right now, but you're looking to really eliminate them because they're going to continue. What the gatekeeper says is they're going to continue to pester you on your trip until you do enough to discourage them. Oh, so we could just scare them off? Yes. Well, you're going to have to probably engage them for a while before you do that, but that's that's what he's hoping you can do. This is this is like when you're playing Pokemon. It's like you can't completely kill them to be able to catch me. You just got to get just enough. Well, I mean, I can stun them. That's not a problem. And I can give this a whirl trying to, you know, make it discouraging to try to shoot at us. But that's... Um... Yeah, we all have blasters, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's set the stun and see if we can make it through these guys. 
All right, so they've advanced uh, to over onto the other side of the river now. They're in medium range, and we're going to roll a uh, cool check. Uh, roll is initiative. Roll cool is initiative. Wait, where is the initiative check again? It's uh, up on the top of the combat screen. Okay. You might have to, like, pull it down. Yeah. Alright, so we got all the PCs. Oh, man. Wait. I'm counting four PC slots. I see four. That's supposed yeah. to take her uh, purple die out. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Let's see. I'll 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 just take that failure out. You had a, a success. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I had uh, an advan I had an advantage and a triumph. Right. So one one with a triumph. Right. So that's going to move you. Ah, jeez. Somebody remind me how you order these. You go into. The, you should have a little ticker bu button that will ascending descending, and yeah. it'll set them in order. All right. So I'm it should be on, on the turn order tracker. Yeah, somewhere in there. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, so I've got now I've got a one two for a PC. So one three one, two for some reason. Uh, huh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, the O one is actually needs to be the one one, I guess. Yes. Okay. No, that's the wrong one. It's the NPC you done. Whoops. <laughs> oh, so I, I got it then. I think I already corrected it then. No, the, the bottom PC, the 01, should be uh, 1 1. Yeah, got it. Okay, so we're going to go NPC, uh, first action. Uh, these hunters right here uh, take aim. They're going to take aim at Dekosh and fire their weapon. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's the, the, shot, the shot from the rifle just bounces off of the uh, surface of the uh, of the rocks, but it actually knocks Dekosh over in the process. And uh, so he's kind of falls back and actually falls into this hole. And it's going to take, uh -oh. take two maneuvers to scramble out of that hole in the next turn. And that's the NPC slot. Now we got uh, all four PCs before the other two PCs go. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I've got an idea to go for it, so I'm going to go and move, take this move. And right. I'm going to, since this is pretty much the pathway they're going to take, I am literally going to just <laughs> in forward, you know, just in that very sentinel like stance and, you know, do the concentration to, you know, basically look to reflect. So that will go into play if they attack me, and basically just you know hold the hold the line, and try to do an intimidation factor. So okay, all right. So we're gonna uh, go go against the, their discipline. So you're gonna roll against uh, one purple. Okay, <laughs> and. <laughs> Lists, lists, lists. Got a lot of these lists. Where did it go? Another is it coercion? That's or is it uh, intimidation? Uh, use coercion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's where I should have put the point. I knew better. Oh well. <laughs> what? The... Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> I'll Still take some that. Success <laughs> with a couple of advantage. Um. um so you're going to cause them to hesitate a little bit. And uh, they're they are not going to take actions on their next.
turn, just kind of mm-hmm. looking at you. The the other two hunters, hunters two and three, or hunter the original and hunter three, those groups will not take any actions uh, because they're not quite sure what to make of what's going on here. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, the two advantage to give them a setback on their next attack. So. Okay. All right. So we got another PC now. Okay, you want to go? Uh, sure. I will try to use influence to get one of the hunters to kind of back off. Okay. Why don't you move... Or kind of come to their senses, I guess. So here's what you're going to have to do to accomplish that. You're going to have to move two range bands to move right next to them. You're not okay. able to use your power unless you're right next to them. Okay. So you're going to have to move right next to the uh, group. You can pick which one you want to move next to. Next to this one. Okay. And this one... Uh, you're now going to use your influence power on, so you're going to roll a force die. Okay. Wait, where is that? Uh, you go down to find your influence power on the combat screen. Oh, okay. I was in skills. Right. And make sure you've cleared out your dice pool, and then you just roll the dice there. Okay, so yeah. you're able to draw on the light side of the force and uh, cl- and kind of clear their minds for just a moment. And uh, they are, I'm going to put a condition on them to kind of show that uh, that's as good as I can get to light side. And so uh, they're suddenly s- seemingly thinking a little bit straighter. Uh, probably are not going to attack anymore, barring something really bad happening to them as we move forward. And now we get to the last PC slot. Right. Um, okay, well, I'm thinking I'll just get in short distance from them and um, try and intimidate them a little bit. Use coercion. Okay, so you're going to do the same thing, similar yeah. to something Elias did. Okay, how, so how are you going to go about it? Um, I think I'm just going to kind of walk up and try and look big and scary. So move first. Okay, going to look big and scary, and yeah. uh, coercion uh, is a good skill for you. So you're going to roll against one purple. And I also have. Um, there's some countenance, so I get a boost. Okay. Coercion. Nice. So, uh, what am I rolling against? You are rolling. <laughs> uh, you're one rolling. Purple. You're rolling your your coercion skill against one purple. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Bruda kind of. Uh, uh, make takes on kind of a fearsome appearance as well uh, and it kind of has that effect like Obi-Wan does in episode 4 when he's scaring <laughs> off the sand people mm-hmm. and uh, they all that that this, this group of hunters right here just breaks they disappear from oh. sight even I'm kind of like mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that leaves really only this group this group of hunters to activate and they're kind of backing up like they're not quite sure what to do at this point and that gets us to the top of uh, second round now with uh, these hunters right here and uh, they're going to draw their weapons and they're going to fire at Elias who's the closest one to them now So they're going to do eight eight damage before soak. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and 
Um, I got four soak, and I'm going to go ahead and take the two strain to. Um, let's say it was eight damage, so so it's six strain, and go ahead and take the reflect. So. Do you have to take six strain for that? I think you just have to take yeah, three strain. It's well, I've got to reflect twice. So yeah, so you've you've got two. Okay, so yeah, it's three. So two. it's yeah, two ranks from reflect. So it's three strain, and then that's uh, two plus the rank of reflect. So that's four. So that'll eliminate it. So I'll take the two strain. Right. So, so right. So strain, you, yeah. you take three strain, and then you yeah. eliminate four points of damage. Yeah. Okay. So that'll. All right. So Elias manages to use reflect, which is pretty <laughs> impressive as well. As as they as they continue to approach, and now we've got another PC slot. All right. Well, um, I suggest everybody move on through while we can. Wait, has the third set of hunters like? Is it? Are they not going to bother us anymore? You're not or do sure. Do we need you, one more person to intimidate them? You're not sure you've dealt with the third set yet. Okay. okay. They, they're still they're they're scared, but they're in a little bit of retreat and they're shooting because they're frightened, and they might still come after you. Okay. Do we want to have Bruda go intimidate them? Also, do it again. Yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. I actually should have moved like here. Yeah, move to about there, and you're just going to make an identical check. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what? Do you, so I, I, I am impressed. <laughs> so, so they're going to go good. into retreat as well. And um, and you're free now to spend the triumph on something. Does anyone need like? I would say. Is Daycash uh, still in the pit? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I missed my turn to get out last time, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you well, you you fell in after you took your turn, right? Or did you? He no. fell in oh. after the first NPC turn. Okay, I apologize. I should have given you a turn. At the no, end of the first okay. round. All right. Um, he's, he's like been forgotten down in that pit. It's like, don't worry about <laughs> me. I'm fine down here. <laughs> All right, like really sarcastically. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy down here. Uh, you could use that. Well, they're not going to bother us anymore anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, why don't you go and take the maneuver? As he said, it was two maneuvers, so you can just take your turn to get out, and then. Well, yeah, Brutus that, still has the triumph to use. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're out of um, we're out of uh, we're out of combat. By the way, oh, okay, yeah. Um, am taking anything? Um, mm hmm. Uh. Or, uh, uh, maybe give us a boost on our next test or something. Yeah, can we just do that? Or put us in a favorable favorable position. Well, could, could you manipulate it as like you know if there's environmental effects? Well, could it be like if there's any other like fear or intimidation effects? You get a boost. Because you know we don't know what we're going to be facing inside this temple. There might be some. Other force countering stuff. I, I'd rather you pick something more immediate instead of yeah. like a, something that happens in an unknown situation. You could, you know, you could inspire Elias to help him recover some strain. Yeah. You could spend it to impress the gatekeeper a little more. You could, you know. Um, hey, could uh, could you use it to uh, kind of break the dark side influence on these guys completely? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she can do that. Let's do that. Okay. So uh, so they've, uh, this triumph, they all kind of, their heads all kind of clear, and they just kind of turn around and walk away. 
And the gatekeeper says, yes, very good. I'm very impressed. Not a single one of them had to be sacrificed uh, to make them respect you. And uh, you, you all do, have done very well here. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he says, so let's, shall we proceed on through the valley? Sure. Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so you're past the ruin now, and you're going to continue to move beside this lake. You're going to continue to move forward uh, until you get into kind of a forest area. I'll try to get you, give you a little bit more of a view of what the okay. lake's like there, too. And you get into kind of Bless a you. forest area right here, and you find yourself facing... Uh, what would ordinarily be a really, really steep path going up, but it's just frozen over in ice right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's probably going to be impossible to even climb in, uh, in, the con in the state that it's in right now, like you were able to climb up other things before. Uh, you don't see any way of getting on, a, on up there, although it looks like there's some people that came before you. There's some ropes that are out of your reach that are just... Uh, just out of your reach up above you. Uh, the gatekeeper says to you, don't bother trying to even climb out of this. Um, uh, the, the walls are covered in ice. It's freezing. They're slick with ice melt. Uh, you're going to have to prove your skills with the force to get uh, past this wall. Hmm. Hmm. Let's use the force to melt the ice. Is that not how the force works? <laughs> uh, not that I know of. Where's that picture? <laughs> That's not how the force works. Harrison Ford saying that. Yeah. <laughs> force awakens. I've been waiting to use that line in one of these games. That's not how the force, force works. We <laughs> <laughs> got an ice asphalt that. Hmm. Just how far out of reach are these ropes? Uh, you, you would you would not be able to it, under ordinary mortal power to jump and reach them. Ooh, could we use the force to get them? Is that just out of the range of possibility? Does anybody have a move power? <laughs> well, is there a tree nearby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm suggesting maybe you can move the ropes. Move the ropes. Mm. Mm. I don't. Mm. Anybody take the enhanced power? Nope. <laughs> anybody what? take anybody Why take the sense power? Be helpful to this. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, I took sense. All right, you hear some rustling that's just seems like it's just beyond uh just beyond uh, uh, this, the uh, side of the of the uh, uh, of, of the, the end of the wall. You hear some rustling that's up there. Okay. Yeah, this, is, this is one uh, with well, this adventure built for the, the the beginner game. It like assumes that you've got certain powers. Right. That, uh, but but anyway, the sense powers can be used here if you want to. All right, I'm gonna see if I can find out what is up there. Okay. So let's see. I've only got the base power, so I guess I can tell if there's someone up there. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Not going to use nope. it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm open to other creative ideas if you want to use them. 
back. Oh, wait. What if I get on top of um, whoever's tallest and grab the rope? Yeah, Is that... Yeah, someone's shoulders. <laughs> okay, let's make a... Uh... Let's make a coordination check. Okay. Just we'll a normal uh, one, or is it like let's easy? one one? Let's make an athletics check, a easy athletics check, and an easy coordination check for okay. uh, for Sira. Who wants to hold her up? I'll hold her up. Okay. So can I give her two boost? Uh, yes, mind. you can. Yes, All you right. can. But she's already passed, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Right. Okay. Wait, I tell her to be careful because there could be somebody up there. Okay. And she manages to pull the rope down where you can climb up. She doesn't really see anybody. All right. So coordination checks all around now. Uh, yeah. Easy, easy coordination checks for everybody to climb up. Okay. Oh yeah. So what are you gonna do with your triumph? Oh, man. I'm going to wait for everybody to make their check, and if somebody fails it. Uh. Okay. I did not. Use that to help out Bruce. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Okay. <laughs> then. Okay. It, I'll use it to help Bruda get up. So Bruda is having trouble getting up, but uh, Sarah manages to kind of reach over the edge and kind of pull Bruda up over the, the ledge. And so now you're all on top of it. Um, the only thing that you really see there that was mus rustling around were some mice that were up at the top of it, and they all kind of scramble into the brush. Uh, they don't really seem to pose any kind of a threat to you. They're imperial mice. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to kill us all. It's a mouse droid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they roll away into the bush squeaking. <laughs> Just like for your corner, like, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're able to stay on the path and continue uh, forward. And the path is really nice and clear for a while. Uh, it winds back around kind of the top of the lake. You're getting closer and closer to the base of the mountain. And you finally come to another bridge. This one kind of crosses a waterfall. And at this bridge... Ugh. And let me put you all on this map here, too. This is a much larger scale map here, by the way. Mm -hmm. I put Elias on the wrong layer. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Much larger scale map. But as you approach, they don't see you, but you manage to see what look like some advocates that are standing at either end of the bridge. And they're, they're kind of positioned in a way where it's pretty clear what their, their mission is to keep anybody from crossing the bridge and protect the entrance to the temple. Uh, you, but you all managed to take cover before you reach them. And incidentally, we're in between encounters right now. So anybody that's taken strain can make a cool or a discipline roll to try to recover some of it. Uh, well, either way, um, and what is there a difficulty against that, or just uh, based on successes? Um, it's uh, there's no difficulty you roll against. It's okay. just based on success. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice! I got a triumph. Can I use it? Uh, yeah, you can use it on something. Okay. While you're sitting there resting, you know, maybe you have an idea or something. Okay. What if I can make it to where, like, I throw a rock or something and they both start running away from the bridge so we can kind of, like, sneak across? Uh, you have misdirect, right? I think so. Let me check. I don't, I don't think Sarah has misdirect. 
I think she's got foresight and yeah, and influence. I, I have oh, and Perry. But yeah. Or. Hmm. Wait, I did. I no wait. No, I don't have this direct. Could I use influence again? Maybe. You could try to walk up to them and use influence if you want to. You might want to talk with everybody else about, you know, developing a bigger plan before you do it. But Nah, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh we could all move up with you and you could tell them we're here to see uh Malifax. Yeah. Or Malifax sent for us. Okay. And try to get them to let us pass. Yeah. And if that don't work, uh, we'll come up with something. Yeah, let's do that. And I can that's I can use my triumph for that, right? Uh yeah, you can use the triumph to upgrade your check. But well, it's not a check that yeah, you're gonna Yeah, it'll be my influence. If you're using check. your influence power, you don't get an upgrade on that. But I you could use it to gain an extra light side force pip. I'll let you use it. To gain an extra light size for light side force pip on your check, if you like. Okay. Bonus. Okay, so how are you going to position yourself as she approaches them? Um. Well, Brute has got the intimidation factor yeah. now, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll, walk, I'll walk along her side. Okay. She's not very scary. It's true. I'm only like five feet tall. And you're only going to be able to influence the ones on your side of the bridge. You're not. That's not necessarily going to affect the other side. Okay. Because yeah, you don't have the range for that. We just push them off the bridge when the time comes. <laughs> okay, so I'm going up to them and I make an influence check with uh, light side. With light side, right. Clear the rest of your pool, but just make an influence check. And then you add. we're going to add a light side pip to it. Okay. okay. So you can use your light side pip. You don't have to spend a dark side point on this. Um, okay. You can use that. And so now you have the ability to make them believe. These aren't the droids we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. something to that exactly. effect. Uh, you've got the ability to... Uh, uh, well, we did that upgrade, but I, I, we didn't put it on the page. So let me look it up real quick to so I can tell you exactly what it is. <laughs> we're not the interlopers you're looking for. <laughs> Uh, so you can uh, force them to adopt an emotional state or believe something untrue for five minutes. So you, what what thing untrue thing do you want them to believe for five minutes? That we're just here, like we were invited to be here. Okay. We're asked to be here by the guy. And let right. those other guys know. <laughs> okay, so this is this is where you really need the webcam because you need to be able to wave your hand like that and then say something. <laughs> But at any rate, you don't have one yet. So, but they're going to step aside, and you're going to be able to start across the bridge now if you want to. Okay. All right. I'm going to go across, and I'm going to try to. Uh, I'll use deception on the other guys, and see if we can get by. Okay. So that is going to be against their discipline, which is going to be. Uh, a purple, but I'm going to upgrade that check with a dark side point. So it's okay. going to be one red instead. Now, can I get a boost since we passed by the other guys without incident? Yes. Okay. All right. And I'm going to walk up and uh, tell these guys that... Uh, Malifax sent for us, and they better step aside. Okay. We're here to get our loans restructured. 
<laughs> oh. 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 Malifax didn't tell us anything about anyone sending you people here. And you look very suspicious, not like the kind of people that he would hang out with. You do have those though you do have those advantages to spend though. Bruta, quick intimidate. Yeah. <laughs> we should just tell him well, I mean the, the, the guys on the other side of the bridge yeah. knew. I don't know why you guys why you're out of the loop. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, I guess, Bruta, you want to try a check against him and say sure. that? Sure. And try to, try to. All right, so tell me what you're doing. All right, well, I'm just going to tell him that everybody else seems to know what's going on, and he needs to get help together, because you really don't want to. You don't want, really want to displease Malifax. Yeah. Malifax. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I am going to be keeping an eye on these guys back here, just in case they uh, get wise to the situation. <laughs> so this is going to be a purple die, and I'm going to use my last dark side to change it to a red die. So you're going to roll against one red die here. Okay. Woo! Nice. You get. <laughs> they say, "All right, all right, you can move by then. You can move ahead." Well, that's all right, we can. <laughs> and the gatekeeper kind of buzzes along beside you and says, "Very, very impressive that you haven't yet had to shed any blood, though. I'm afraid it's not going to be long before that that situation changes." Well, not if we can help it. <laughs> Because I don't like to shed blood, especially my own. <laughs> <laughs> so continuing along the path, um, you now find some stairs that begin to lead up into the mountain beside a stream. You go through kind of a small valley, and then there's this long, winding path that begins to take you up the side of Mount Telic. And let's everybody make an athletics check uh, with a failure indicating that you're going to take three strain in the process. An easy or an average? Let's make it an average athletics check. All right, and there's uh, two bonus for anybody that needs it, two boost. I mean, I need it. <laughs> oh, man, that's... Boy, Elias has canceled out 100%, huh? Um, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, it did. Wow. <laughs> I have, That's the yeah. first... I was like, why is he not showing me the results? And I'm like, oh, because oh, there are yeah. none. <laughs> wow. So this is a difficult trek for you all. Uh, except for Bruda, yeah. who seems to kind of this, this is my advantage. That's what's weird. <laughs> Bruda kind of waltzes up ahead of everybody else, but everybody else kind of lags behind and kind of has their tongue hanging out, and they've taken three, <laughs> three oh, yeah. strain each. It's a thin oh, atmosphere. And we've thin, we're we're, we're at elevation. It's, yeah. <laughs> So you managed to reach the temple. And that was three strain we took? Yeah. If you failed the check. You've managed to reach the temple. And I'll tell you, this is, this is moving along very, very quickly. <laughs> uh, and get you all back onto the map here. Well, it's all because of Bruda. I mean, I mean he's intimidated yeah. the hell out of every, all of his <laughs> ramrod you've encountered. All right, so as you walk toward the entrance, uh, uh, with the gatekeeper again following along, uh, you encounter a group of wolves that are standing at the entrance. And let me get them revealed for you here. And the gatekeeper says to you, I'm afraid 
uh, you're not going to have any luck influencing these wolves. There's three of them. Uh, they've, they, uh, they are single-minded, and their single-minded desire is going to be to, uh, to kill anything that tries to enter this temple. Uh, they're going to be your first uh, challenge to your skills, your uh, combat skills. All right, they're just animals, but let's just stun. Oh no, man! I mean, kind of hungry. It's like some wolf stew. All right, nice at this time. It's all tough and gamey. You don't want that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's roll for initiative with uh, everybody rolling uh, cool checks. Adridge or uh, uh, no, you don't. You don't put anything on a on an initiative check. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. We got one more in there somewhere. Whoa. Who, who has not rolled yet? Oh, we got them all now. Okay. Yeah, we're all there. Four, three, one. Okay, so you're all going to get turns before the ice wolves. <laughs> You're at uh, medium range to start out. At the bottom of the stairs, they're kind of standing at the top of the stairs, uh, growling at you. Dekosh, this is your element. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, let me set my blaster to stun and move up to short range and take aim at one of them. Okay. All right, so you're going to move up to probably about the top of the steps there. And then it's going to be uh, one purple. All right. All right, and uh, here we go. Hey. Nice. All right, five stun damage. Uh, six, right? Yes, six. Six stun damage. Okay, and that... Uh, manages to affect one of them a little bit. And that's about it. Anytime, that's guys. <laughs> and well, so we're up. So he, he's, he tries to stun one. It does affect one a little, but it doesn't take it down even. And now we're t uh, to the second uh, second slot. Um, I'll go. I'll hit him with my blaster rifle. Okay, you're going to shoot a blaster rifle. Do you want to get in like Dekosh did into short range where you roll one purple, or do you want to stay back behind uh, um, at a little bit more of a distance? I'll go to uh, Dekosh range. Okay. All right, so you're going to roll one purple. Along with your weapon. Okay. Crap. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that's awful. So Sarah, who is I not... I accidentally hit Elias. <laughs> not at all skilled with blaster <laughs> blasters, uh, just misses this, the wolves completely. How do you miss with a stun bolt? <laughs> all right, next PC. Uh... I'm going to go make my stun shot. I'll move up to the short and uh, with a maneuver, and we will take the one purple, and we will go with boom. Ten. Oh, nice. already, yeah. Ten. Okay, that. And I'm going to use the advantage right off the bat to reduce the strain. So that that yeah. manages to take one of them out, and it affects another one a little bit. So there's now two wolves. One of them stunned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll move up to the short range. Okay. 
Actually, it didn't show the purple one on the... Oh, well, I'll take... Forget it. <laughs> I had one purple one that I guess the clicker was still on there. Oh, no. well. <sighs> Alright, and I'll take a shot with my last Okay. okay. Bruda misses as well, though he, he gets some some advantage off of it. Alright. I guess I can just give that to whoever's next. Okay, we'll do it give a boost die to the next uh, PC that goes. So now this, the ice wolves are going to go, and they're kind of going to leap into the middle of it. And uh, because Elias uh, took one of them out, they perceive he's the biggest threat. And they are going to attack Elias with their teeth and claws. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Draw your lightsaber. <laughs> so that's six damage with a pierce one. Ouch. So that's three on me. So <laughs> And we're we're at the end of the combat round. At the start of the next round, uh you you hear some uh padding and howling and it sounds like there's more of them that are kinda off a little bit beyond your distance over here that are heading your direction. Can and now, we run? Now that we're at the top of the next round with another PC slot. All right, I'm going to try to stun one, and then are the the ones that we hear are they coming from the temple, or are they're, they from somewhere else? They're kind of there's this big plaza on the at the at the outside of the temple that you can see, kind of this area right here. And they're coming from a further distance behind uh, your area of visibility, straight ahead. Hmm. Okay. Probably they'll arrive the next uh, combat round. All right, so I'm going to try to stun. And you get a boost. Stun the one that's already affected. Okay. And this is a minion group, so it's automatically going to take you know, uh, All right. work them down. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, you got a boost on that if you want to roll a boost. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Go ahead and add that to your roll. Crap. Let me get back on the right sheet. There we go. All right. No help. Nothing. Does not help. I, yeah. Bad. Does not help. So Daykosh's stun efforts failed. And uh, we're now into the next PC slot. Um, can I draw my lightsaber and attack one of them? Yes, you can. Okay. So you're gonna have to move where you're adjacent to it. So like move to a position like about right there, and and then roll your lightsaber ability against two purple dice. Crap! Wow. You're having a rough time tonight. <laughs> All right, who's next? I'm going to go ahead and take the... Uh, since uh, Sarai's got this engaged and he's got that, uh, can I just maneuver around to get basically to a cover here? Yeah. And so um, if when they do pop out, I'm going to snapshot it. So... So I guess it's kind of a pseudo held action until they appear, but you know. Okay. Well, yeah. So why don't we treat this like? Uh, 
Well, I'll even treat it like a double aim. Uh, so, so when this new group appears, you'll get a double aim on that the next combat round. Will that, that work? Works. Okay. That works. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Uh, I guess Bruta. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to try to just take this one, this pack right here out. Yeah, I, I missed it. What did you say? I'm just going to try and take this, the ice wolf out. Okay, you're going to, you, what weapon are you going to attack with? Yeah, I'll try attacking with my lightsaber. Okay, so you'll have to move adjacent to it. You'll have to move where you're engaged, which you, okay. you're there. That You're okay. Okay. And uh, and now you're going to roll your lightsaber uh, skill against two purples. Okay. It did that last time, too. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, hmm. Let me look at your character sheet real quick. Anybody got any ideas about what happened there? Mm hmm. Uh, so it's all her abilities for the, um, the lightsaber. Uh, do you have the damage critical encumbrance and, and, uh, entered? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. in there. And let's see if um, this lightsaber skill looks goofy for some reason. No, it's, it looks right. Uh, it's, it's, it's shown, it's shown two purple... Uh, but it's not showing any uh, dice towards the. S and, well, no, it's technically not. It, yeah, it, it's just GM dice. I'm. I made one change to it. Try rolling it one more time and see what yeah. happens. And then. There it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so let me say, I, saw, I saw the GM in it, GM dice. So I was like, the, "Did you type in something there?" Or? No, for yeah. for debugging purposes, there were colons after breach and sunder, uh, and it's possible that somehow those colons registered. are registering goofy with it. So yeah. I'll, I need to remember to report that to the character sheet people. Uh, but anyway, so you're doing eight damage straight up. You're going to take two more strain, and that eight damage is uh, breach one, which means it doesn't uh, affect any soak, and that manages to destroy the other two ice wolves. So uh, Bruta just says enough of that, uh, runs up, <laughs> and uh, with a couple Super of slashes, <laughs> uh, they they kind of fall. And so then there's no NPC slot that we're going to stay in combat though because. Running up at you is another set of uh, three wolves that's at range right now. They're at uh, medium range as they're kind of running out. Okay, and where are we exactly? Uh, Elias is standing behind this pillar right here. Uh, uh, waiting to fire at them. He's going to get a double boost when he shoots at them. Sira is standing in the open at the top of the steps, having missed her shot. Uh, Bruda is on the steps, along with two dead Spinteri ice wolves. And okay, Daikosh, Daikosh really probably needs to be more like there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I believe I'm on the on the wrong page here, because I can't see any of, the, any of our tokens. Uh, what page are you on? Oh. Scroll down to the bottom. Is you, uh, you see black? Uh, yeah. I don't see you anything. scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Or, yeah. or or zoom out and then zoom in. Yeah. Yeah, you might have the same problem I had at first. There, there should be a little extra okay. bar at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, this is a big okay. map. Have you got it now? It's a big map yeah. we're on right now. Yeah. So I've, I've positioned you where I, about where I think you should be. All right. All right, so I guess... Hmm. All right, so there's more coming. There's three there's more one. coming. I guess we take up positions and wait for him. 
Yeah. Okay. They're at, they're at medium range, and we're at the top of the turn, so a PC can take a slot. Okay. Uh, take a shot at one and see if I can stun him. And then after that, I'm going to the lightsaber. Okay. <laughs> well, gonna, I can't do anything ranged with it now, so... He could stick with it a little bit longer. And they're at medium range? Yeah. All right. <laughs> There we go. So that's so six, that would be six. six points with a couple of stun to you. It does affect one of them. It's that identical attack to the one you had earlier. Right. All right, and with that, I'm going to holster my pistol and go for the lightsaber. Okay. And we're the next PC slot. I'll go and take my shot then. So... Do, 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 do. So, Double boost. Remember, you guys have a lot of light side points right now. Okay. And. Bam. Nice. And that's without stun. That's actual. Nine points of damage. Okay. And uh, so that nine points is going to take out one of the ice wolves. So there's still two remaining. One is a slightly wounded, and the other one, this one is slightly stunned, and the other one is uh, full health. But very nice shot. Um, and we're to the next PC. Um, I'll shoot it with my blaster. Okay. Is that still just two purple? Uh, yes. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Two successes counted at, canceled out by two failures. So Sarah misses. And that's leaving us with Bruda. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I need to move up a little bit. Okay. Um... And then I'll Help us, Bruno, your only hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just take a shot with my blaster pistol. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yay. So that six points does not uh, manage to take one of them out. It does damage it a little bit more, though. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Oh, is that the price is right to fill yeah. your thing? <laughs> nice. Very nice. I've had a lot of sugar. I'm really hyped up right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, now the, the ice wolves are going to close. Uh, and they're at medium range, so all they can do is move in to right here, and they're going to engage uh, Daykosh and El Alias, Elias, and that's all they can do. They're minions, and so that's that's the end of their turn. Oh. And now we're back to a PC turn. All right, Red, you want to take care of that one? Yeah, why not? Draft the boost. I am going to take an aim though, and that will. And they're are they now at short? So they're now they're now actually uh, engaged with you. Okay. So um, I think you have to go back up to two. Okay. Yeah, you have to go back right. up to two. Will do. And oh wow! Well, yeah, close. so boy, they're too close. You shot yourself those, in the foot. You see those two <laughs> failures there is because they're so close to you. They Look, just I, I hold hit. you in the highest esteem, but you are really bad about giving your dad ideas about really hard. <laughs> 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 I mean, you're like right on. Yeah, I, get you. I just shoot so and so for this much damage. No, 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 no. You don't want that. <laughs> ne never give the GM ideas. Yeah. 
That's rule number one. <laughs> She's learning to know that this, this be tonight's lesson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, next PC. All right, I'll pull out the lightsaber and yeah. go after the okay un uninjured one. Uh, two purples. And since they're minions, you're just going after the group, really. But I, I understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just as I said, I am going to use the advantage to drop a strain. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, about rolled the wrong one. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's seven points of damage. Uh, that manages to take out both of them. And so they both fall to the concrete. And uh, you are now out of combat. All right. I'm sitting there, what's the matter with this stupid gun cat? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so the gatekeeper's floating ahead. He says the, uh, the antechamber where Malifax is located is ahead of us. All right. Before we continue, I'm going to go ahead and uh, heal Elias there. Okay. And can we go ahead and recover some strain while we're at it? Uh, yes, you're between encounters, so you can uh, make a cool or discipline check to try to recover any strain you've taken. All right. Each success, you recover one. <sighs> All right. I'll do the heal check first. I'm having no luck with that. Yeah, and it, I, I, you actually cannot use dark side pips to do heal. Well, healing, I can do so. harm, but I, yeah, right. let's not do that. Right. Um. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm. I think we all feel recovered from here. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's enough advantage. Everybody ought to be able to recover yeah. something. Do you think? Yeah. Okay. As you're moving forward, anybody want to spend advantage or triumph? All right. Um, with that triumph, I'll just say that we're extra alert and. Hopefully, not be surprised by anything we might find in the doorway here. Okay. All right. So uh, you manage to uh, to all feel kind of like totally with it and ready to move forward uh, with whatever faces you. Uh, you're moving forward. You see, uh, looks like kind of a pathway that leads up uh, this way here. The gatekeeper, though, is moving this direction. Uh, into the main plaza, and you can kind of see now, uh, reveal some more of this for you, you can kind of see there are these stones, and then they, the stones lead up into an entrance, a doorway entrance that's right here. Uh, but there's some stone steps, there's a lot of rubble all over the place. You can see the steps there, the entrance to it right there. Uh, and... Oh, that's about it. I All right, I want to ask the ask the gatekeeper. Say, so, um, so you've had time to observe us and uh, see if we're worthy. I would like to ask if there was another way into this temple, so we don't go waltzing through the front door and into a trap. Uh, he says. Unfortunately, the doorway is the only way in. Uh, there's there's uh, some caverns and things if you follow this pathway up here, but I don't think they're going to lead you to anything useful. He says, uh, but keep in mind, Malifax is quite mad. I doubt he's he's intelligent enough to set up an ambush, especially since he doesn't expect you to be arriving. Yeah. yeah. He's mad, so he could be paranoid. Mm. But we'll go anyway. Yeah. 
I'll I'll keep on the flank just to make sure we, they don't sneak up behind us. All right. <laughs> He says, uh, the gatekeeper says, I'm going to wait just outside the door so as not to alert anyone that's inside. Uh, but you all can proceed in there whenever you're ready. Let's just burst through the door and start shooting our blasters upwards. <laughs> <laughs> going like, woo! Where, where's my sombrero? You know? <laughs> All right, I want to use a sense check and see if I can detect anybody inside the doorway. Okay. Let me get back on the right page here. Okay. Wow, just not with me tonight. <laughs> not wow. The odds are not in your favor. Yeah, wow. All right, uh, so you're, I assume you're not going to spend it. Nope. All right. All right. You all are free just, to proceed in if you want to. I just look at everybody and say, well, I have no idea, so here we go. Uh, and I'm going to go through the door. And you come into an antechamber. So this map, I had to piece it together from about four different scans, so some of it doesn't quite fit the way it's supposed to. But it's as honestly, as it I can looks do. pretty clean. <laughs> to, yeah. you know, I, well, I did my best. Circumstances. This is yeah. I. I don't know if any of you own the beginner game, but this is a huge. Uh, yeah. The valley and then the temple are both huge maps. Uh, I just I, I just give you kudos because I you know trying to build maps on roll yeah. twenty and get the grid system I, I feel your pain so you know yeah it's it's really hard it's, it helps sometimes turn the grid off actually and mm -hmm. just kind of stretch them exactly the way you yeah. need to but yeah. yeah so anybody going in there with him I'll go in oh yeah sure I got it guys don't worry. <laughs> like so, I'm just going to keep on the flank just to watch okay. that right. watch our six. So. Okay. All right. So you can hear some noise coming that, like, actually, there's shouting that's going on as you uh, kind of approach the entrance. And you hear a little bit of a scream. It sounds like it might be heaven. Um, and uh, you've, you've, you can peek through or around this doorway if you want to risk taking a look. All right, I will take a look. I okay. see we all barge in there at once. This door right here, Malifax. Huh. And, and uh, Malifax yeah, says the archive is empty. It's just a bunch of useless scrolls and tablets. Where's the holocron? Uh, tell me or I'm going to skin you alive. And she says, I don't know anything about a holocron. I don't know what you're talking about. is standing right beside Hethan, who's kind of got some binders on. And uh, she's she's just sitting there at the edge of these steps, right uh, beside a small little entrance uh, that's over here. And then the other one is patrolling the area. He's down around here. There's this waterfall that goes into a fountain area that uh, falls down into a fountain area. So you ascend up these steps to go up onto this platform where one of them is. And uh, you hear some shouting that comes from uh, this person that comes walking out of this door right here, Malifax. Huh. And, and uh, Malifax yeah, says, the archive is empty. It's just a bunch of useless scrolls and tablets. Where's the holocron? Uh, tell me or I'm going to skin you alive. And she says, I don't know anything about a holocron. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's got to be a devil. <laughs> uh, and it's a devil. Yeah. <laughs> of course he's a devil. That just makes perfect sense. <laughs> and uh, he is carrying this really bad looking sword that he's kind of threatening her with. All right, and nobody has seen us yet? Not yet, but this mercenary is working its way down the stairway towards you. 
and and Dekos should still be down here at the, yeah. the entrance. I'm assuming that's where he is. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Can we wait for the mercenary to get like right at the door, and then we like pull him away and take him out real quick so the others aren't alerted? Psst, over here. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can certainly try. Get some Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> is, is that Girl a single Scout mercenary <laughs> or is that a minion group? That is a single mercenary. Okay. No, I'm All sorry. Right. It is a minion group of three. There's a minion oh. group of three of them up here, and there's a min and then a minion group of three of them going down the stairs. All right. Well, what if we could kind of set the door, but when the three come across, bar three of us to kind of do a spread. spread Stunned to knock those guys out, and then we can split split you know the targets. Two of us on one side, two of us on the other, going up the stairwell. Sure. Yeah. I think one of you could probably get a stun shot off or an attack off before they would be alerted. I think that'd be about the mm -hmm. most you could expect, and that's if you can uh, if you can out initiative them. Uh. You, uh, who's the broadest? Is it Bruda's basically the yeah. largest person we've got here? Or, yeah, what's Cute. Bruda's strength? Well, what? what do you mean by strength? Uh, You're you should, uh, Braun, oh. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. Braun, that's okay. Yeah. It's only two. Oh wow! Uh, could I potentially bum, bum rush tackle all three of them? Uh, you could sure you could try that. Crossbody slam! Ah. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We do like a do an ath do us do a brawl check against their uh, against their brawn. Well, I was gonna say, yeah. I, I default. If anybody has a better <laughs> brawl than I do, I'm just, <laughs> I'm all for that, you know. So, um, not here. Yeah, that's. Uh, if it's straight brawn, it's yeah. Uh, is there any way you could just uh, instead of tackle on it, if you could just uh, like push them over the edge into the fountain down there? Ooh, that's a good idea. I'm I'm lessening the risk of me going over the waterfall. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, gotcha. that's, that's, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm 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 I may be brave, but I ain't fool. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and we would still be talking about a brawl check there. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, unless anybody's got any objections, I think that's just eliminate the you know variables as best we can. Right. If I go with him, can I give him the uh, two boost, and then the other two can go up either set of stairs? Uh, yes. So, so explain what you're doing. Um, Basically, going. We're, we're gonna pretty much clothesline from hell and body right. slam the three of them between the two of us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then and that, that gives them the opening for Bruda and Sarai to. Uh, split between the two stairwells. Right. Okay. All right. So w what we'll do is we'll make uh, first. We're going to roll to see if you can out initiative them on this. We're going to. Okay. I'm going to roll their. I'm going to roll uh, vigilance for the enemies in this, and you all can roll cool. Yeah, and you can roll cool with two boost die because uh, you're you're not detected <laughs> so far. I will take that. <laughs> wow, that'll be the <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> Are we all rolling cool? Yeah, everybody's gonna roll cool with two boost. Okay. Nicely done. Yeah. Ooh. All right. All right, Elias, you ready to make your roll? 
Well, okay, you bitches. guys definitely managed to seize the initiative. So it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a uh, brawl versus. Let's see what they're. Uh, brawl, let's do brawl versus brawl. So it's versus two purple. You guys do have light side uh, points to keep in mind. Uh, uh, you can. You I think we better save it because we just don't know how bad this Devlin guy is. So, or yeah. not like, you know, insurance guys, insurance salesman. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, I'm just gonna yeah, I'll use the boost off him um, and the assist, and we will go with brawl and hope like hell I actually get something out of it. So, okay, yes, I think. Uh, you, you don't have any success on that roll. Actually, you get one more boost. Oh, you get one more? Okay. Yes, you get two uh, boosts. Then I will go ahead and dial this back down. And roll. Wait, where'd your green die go? Oh, that's alright. So we're, we'll take the success and the advantage yeah. on that, which gives you a success and two advantage. So you manage okay. to tackle the group and knock them to the ground. Cool. All right. Uh, do you want to use that to? Uh, use that to get back up. <laughs> <That's for> sure. <laughs> and then <laughs> it's on now. So. Okay, so you're going to use a. You're going to get a free maneuver and stand. Is what you're going to yeah, do. Okay. Much. All right. All right, so they're they've all been knocked over onto the ground, and they're just totally stunned. Oh and come that, on, you got to give me a high five on that one. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. All right, so let's go to the next PC. Um, actually, that would be both of. Yeah. That should have been two at the beginning, yeah. right? Two turns right off the bat well, would be meeting I've, him. I've got a PC at zero two. That was me. Uh, the initiative I rolled was like two advantage. That was it. Okay, so we have yeah. three PCs and then all the NPCs and then one PC. I, w I was wrong when I I said a minute yeah. ago you all get to go. Okay. So well, we still got the two PC units. If we we use those two for that, then it'd be an NPC move. So, well, well, we've already passed one round, so we had a three four and a two three, and now we have another two three up. So, if we take the first two to close line them, then we have one more PC slot before they go with their three turns. Right. Yeah. Well, I guess All better right. I can. Uh... Run up the stairs. Yeah. Okay, so who's next? You want to go back up? Sure. All right, so uh, Sarah's going to do what? Going to run up the stairs. Okay. Okay, go ahead. You can position yourself with... T you, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to take two maneuvers and you can position yourself in the middle of the stairs on either side. Okay. And uh, that's all you can do. Or, or unless you want to take a couple of strain, then you could take an action as well. Um, how many is strain? Two. Oh, okay. I'll do that. And I will... I kind of want to take a shot at the double. At the yeah. at Malifax. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a two. That's going to be two. Uh, it would ordinarily be two purple die, but he has what's called adversary one, which means all the checks against him are upgraded once. So you, okay. it's going to be one purple and one red against your blaster. Okay. Do we have any? It Advantage. Uh, I don't think you've got any boost to benefit you on this one. Okay. 
Here we go. Crap. So take one additional strain from running up the stairs. And uh, the shot misses Malifax. It kind of shoots off the rocks above his head and some of the uh, some of the wall falls off behind him. And now we're to the next PC slot. Wait, I thought we had an end. We've only done one. We've done two PC slots, so we're in the third PC slot now. Right? Uh, this should be the fourth, since we did mine and, and uh, Dakasha's together. together. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So then we are, we are at an NPC slot. Yeah. Right. Um, so these mercenaries are going to kind of run to the edge of the uh, of the uh, the pit. I don't know what you'd call that, but but the pit, and then they are going to take aim at Sira, who's running up the stairs, and they are going to fire their weapon at her. <laughs> they have a blaster pistol. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. So that's nine <laughs> points of damage, but subtract your soak from it. Now, the other thing is is you've got reflect, right? Yes, I do. So I will take two strain. You have to take three strain to use reflect. Three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two. No, I don't. And that then... Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so first, what is your soak? Four. So. so it's going to be 9 damage minus 4 is 5, and then you're going to use your Reflect, and that's going to take 3 more off of it. So, so I only you, took 2 wounds. You only take 2, exactly. Yes. Okay. Alright. So next NPC slot, uh, these mercenaries are going to stand up. Hmm. Uh, for their first maneuver, and then they are going to fire at Dekosh. They're at short range, so they're just going to roll one die. And that's seven uh, damage to uh, Dekosh minus Soak. All right, so that ends up five. All right, and the final NPC slot, Malifax is going to uh, shout, uh, and he's going to move. Uh, he's going to take two moves until he's standing right next to Sira, uh, like he's getting ready to attack her, which he will do on his next turn. And now we got a uh, PC slot, uh, this is fine. which is Bruta's, yeah. Okay. Uh, how far am I away from the mercenaries right in front of me? Uh, you, well, you can you use one maneuver to get uh, adjacent to the mercenaries. Okay. I'll uh, get adjacent, then I'll pull out my lightsaber. Okay. And you're going to roll two purple. And Bruta misses. She actually and actually takes a strain on the miss. Yeah. All right. And that's the end of the first round. Now we're back to the top of the second one. Uh, if any PC can go in this slot. I'll take a shot at Malifax. Uh, he's in short range. Okay. Are you going to use your lightsaber? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, all right, you can also use an aim maneuver since you're right beside him, or you could wait and try to move away from him after you attack him. Uh, I'll try to move away from him after I attack him, just in case this doesn't go well. Okay, so we're going to go with a red and a purple die. Okay. And 
you're going yeah and you're going to roll you're going to roll your lightsaber skill against a red and a purple die oh wow so you got an advantage on that but that's about it um I guess I'll move away now. Okay. Okay, so you can move. How far away do you want to move? You can take some additional um, strain to get uh, back in the antechamber, or you can just move over beside Elias. Can I go, like, over here? Or is that not an option? Yeah, you could move up by Roman if you want to. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe next PC turn, like Elias could attack Malifex, so he'll go over there, and then I can help her get free. Okay. All right. Uh, next PC slot. Tashi got this. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and move up and engage Malifex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, that's one maneuver to engage, and you're going to lightsaber? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, one yeah, red, one purple. One red, one purple. Cool. And let's do this. Uh, damn. Wow. Okay, so it, you swing at him, he blocks it, and uh, then you lose your weapon, and it falls back down the steps, down toward the bottom of the step stairs right there. Uh, you have a t you have a ton of advantage there, though, you can spend. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and burn uh, two to go ahead and back the the F up and uh, <laughs> grab my light and use the other two to go grab my light. <laughs> All right, so uh, Elias, <laughs> Elias uses a uh, maneuver with some of his advantage. He, he uses another maneuver to pick the lightsaber up and uh, and ignite it again. And that's the end of Elias's turn. Now we All got right. a PC. I got this. <laughs> uh, uh, Give me one minute real quick. <laughs> So the, the right. reason the reason he lost his lightsaber is because he rolled a despair. That yeah. uh, that's what that symbol means. A despair. When I saw that, I was like, no. <laughs> a despair is kind of the opposite of triumph. Uh, it means something really bad happens there. In this case, he was disarmed. All right. So, all right. So now uh, we got one more PC now, right? All right, I'm going to make an attack on this mercenary group. Okay. With, with the lightsaber. Okay. So the, what's the difficulty on them? Uh, the difficulty on them is just two purple. All right. Yay! Seven damage. So that takes one of them down. And uh, right. and then uh, another one is slightly wounded by your attack. All right, and with that, I'm going to kind of impose myself between Elias and Malifax until he gets all straightened out here. Okay. All right. Yeah, you've got your weapon drawn, so you can you can stand there. Okay, so uh, Malifax will take you up on the challenge. He's going to maneuver down the stairs. I didn't where... mean for him to actually come fight me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> where Dekosh is, and he's going to make an attack against Dekosh with his sword. <laughs> Let's see here. So that's seven pierce two. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to go well. I think that's going to put me out. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, that puts you in ex excess of your uh, strain threshold? Yes. Or your wound threshold? Yes, it does. I'm one All right, over. so he pops Dakosh. Dakosh falls down uh, unconscious at the bottom of the steps. <sighs> Gosh, no! <laughs> Whoops. Okay. And now these uh, adversaries uh, stand up, and uh, they're going to take aim at Bruda, who's standing right in front of them there. And they're going to fire their blaster pistol at Bruda. Excuse me. Okay. In short range. And that's eight damage minus your soak. So five. All right. And then finally, uh, these adver these mercenaries here are going to turn around and they're going to fire at Sira. So that's seven minus minus your soak. Uh, you do have reflect. Keep in mind, although you're you're pretty high on strain. Yeah. So seven, you said. Seven minus your soak, whatever your soak is. Oh, not too bad. Okay. And now we're at the end of the combat turn. Who's who's left to go, Bruda? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to attack the mercenaries in front of me first. With lightsaber or blaster pistol? Um, let's try the lightsaber again. Okay. Just uh, two purples. Seven points. You take a couple of strain. You do seven points of damage, which is enough to defeat those mercenaries. So they uh, scatter, fall down into the water, Etc. behind you. Then can I take a movement like here? Uh, yeah, you can move either direction. Okay. Uh, you can take two strain and move even further if you want. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and move to like the top of those stairs. Okay. All right, and we're at the top of the next round with a PC slot. Um, try to attempt to get the to untie her real quick but okay. kind of check can, what I have to take you can use a maneuver to set uh, like her set her free from her binders you can use one okay. of your maneuvers yet by with just with your lightsaber kind of cutting it oh, and okay then, and then you're then. then you're still left with an action and then another maneuver okay um I'm gonna take a shot at um the mercenaries okay are you going to draw your blaster pistol and shoot or are you going to move uh you're going to you can take a couple of strain and move in range of them and attack with your lightsaber um two strain mm -hmm. yeah uh i'll attack them with my blaster okay because I, I can't okay so right now. you're going to roll two uh purple dice and okay. incidentally, we're not I'm not enforcing that rule in this game, but typically you have to use a maneuver to switch weapons or to pull a weapon out. But we're not doing that. It, we haven't been doing that in this game, so I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> so that's uh, 11 points from the blaster rifle. Uh, Sarah does take two more strain. And the 11 points from the blaster rifle are going to take out one of the mercenaries, and it's going to do some damage to the other one. Awesome. Okay, so there's two mercenaries here, and there's Malifax left right here, and we are to the next PC slot. 
Okay, uh, I'm going to do this, and you know, I for some reason feel this funny sensation and realize that I mystically have developed a stem pack, okay. and so I'm going to flip a <laughs> destiny. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, and I am going to um, inject uh, uh, Dakash. So did, did you hit the destiny point button for? That's what reason? I'm going to. Is okay. uh, I know it was on here. Um, so use. There we go. Okay. So you um, have so stem pack and. Okay, that's he, so. So that's got a really big boo boo. So. <laughs> that's that's two maneuvers. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. That's one maneuver so far. As as what you've got, um, and, and you recover uh, stem pack recovery is anybody know offhand? It's six off the first, and then okay. it the decreases for each use. Okay. Okay. Unless you're All right. so. So now um, Elias now has. Uh, has an uh, still has an action, and basically I'm just going to do that pull stab and step over to Kosh and basically take a defensive stance. Just basically, okay, intercede between him so he doesn't get a, a coup d'état. So, okay, appreciate that. Or coup d'état, not coup d'état. So uh, Elias throws a stem pack on him and then rolls in front of him, uh, <coughs> where he's now positioned between Dakosh and. And Malifax. Mm -hmm. right. And we're to the next PC slot now. <coughs> Dekosh is free. Brut is free right now. Bruta, do you want to take a well, shot at the mercenary? Uh, yeah. Or I have my uh, lightsaber drawn right now. How, how far is he? Uh, what you can use one maneuver to get in range of him. Okay. Uh, with my lightsaber. Right. Okay. So I'll use that maneuver. Okay. And, and it's two purple. Again, you have light side points you can use to upgrade checks if you want, but that's up to you. Well, I think we should save save them for Malifax. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got somebody in chat telling us Stimpak's five wounds, not six. I'd forgotten about. I don't know right. what it is. Yeah. To be honest. I, I, yeah. I'd... Thanks, Impromptu, for for letting us know. All right. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So still kind of swinging wildly. <laughs> and uh, taking and taking one more strain, and even these mercenaries can kind of jump around and avoid the attacks. But she didn't lose the lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. Did not I like lose to imagine the like when we're using our lightsabers and we fail to check. It's like we look like those four year old trying to whack a pinata. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got it. Almost got it. <laughs> So the uh, so Malifax is now going to take a turn. He's going to advance down toward Elias, who's nearest to him, and he's going to take a swing at him. And he's just like totally nuts, like battle ragey kind of nuts. Okay. And uh, so here we go. Ooh. <laughs> he takes a couple of strain. And uh, that's going to be nine pierce two. Okay. Uh, so that is seven, nine, seven ouch, ouchy, 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 ouchy. Okay. And but not out. Okay, <laughs> and now the adversary are going to kind of get up, they're going to kind of move back, and they're going to shoot back at Bruta. All right. 
Nine minus soak, and they'll All take right. a strain. I am almost down. And uh, last NPC slot is gone because the the uh, mercenaries were defeated. So we're back to a PC slot now. We get four straight PC slots here. I who's the last PC to go? Daykasha. Yeah. Right. All right. So. Hmm. I will take a shot at Malefax here. Okay. We attacking with the blaster or lightsaber? Lightsaber. Okay, purple, so purple red. All right. Yay! <laughs> That's eight points of damage to Malefax. I know it. And he's going to take three strain for a parry on that to reduce it down to five. But uh, you did manage to do some damage to him. Mm -hmm. And now we're at the top of the next round, which means any PC can go. Uh, can I take a maneuver there? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to in cut your turn off early. Yeah, can you I can. help? Can I kind of get my last out of the way there? Okay. How how so? Um. Well, you're still up, right? Yeah, I'm still up. I'm not okay. Down. All right. Well, I'll just move on the other side of him. That way, we've got him flanked. Okay, so we'll give flanking bonuses uh, for Elias's attack if he wants to attack. All right, so uh, next PC slot. Uh, I'll go ahead and spin the maneuver to, since I got the stim pack, to stim myself. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and I will go ahead and. No, and I, yeah, yeah, stim packs get consumed on use. Oh, well, I didn't know if I had lots of things, so... Uh, never mind then. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and spend a strain to uh, activate Sidestep, which will upgrade his um, difficulty to... Or, 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 that's range, never mind. Uh, no, won't do that either. I need to reread these. Um, uh... I'm just gonna go and go for it and be stupid. Okay, so. <laughs> I, you you've got him flanked and he's actually got his back turned to you. So I'm gonna give you an upgrade on your uh, check. Cool. You mean uh yeah okay upgrade. advantage? Uh, no, I'm I'm giving you an up. You you can upgrade your check one additional uh, point, not boost, not simply boost it. So. So one you, yellow. Okay. Yeah. Or, well, okay. what you're going to do is the best thing to do is just click upgrade in the dice pool. Okay. And that auto calculates it for you. Okay. Got it. And so I'll take the aim and then. Okay. Since take I didn't have to, didn't spend that maneuver, so I'll take the aim and. Oh, please be merciful. You can use a light side too if you want. Uh, no, I'll say because you you, see, you guys are going to probably need it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> uh. Okay, so this time, this time, <laughs> let's 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 do the damage first, and then we'll do the rest of it. This is great. Okay, so we got we got eight points of damage. Uh, which he's just going to take all of that. Okay. And, and uh, so you you don't lose your weapon this time. Instead, you stumble back and are, are holding on by one hand, uh, dangling <laughs> over the edge of this uh, uh, pit with water down at the uh, bottom of it. Bye, Elias. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can you use uh, your advantage there to sunder his weapon? It it uh, he his it's weapon has cortosis. 
It has a cortosis quality. Oh, crap. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and burn, uh, burn the two advantage to swing myself back up to where I'm not going to get my hand chopped off. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I, I'll, I'll move myself out of a range so I'm not engaged, or if that's what I have to do, or I'll put myself back and engage, whatever the case may be. Okay, so taking a full maneuver, you can get you can get back, but you're kind of on your hands and knees there as you get... I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go prone. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, our, we're on the next PC slot now. I'll take it. Okay. Um... I am going to, um, um, d does she have any weapons? Does who have weapons? Um, Roland. Roman. No, Roman, she sorry. doesn't. And she's not in any condition to fight anyway. Oh, uh, okay. As I say, I could just give her my blaster. Okay, uh, I'll take a shot at Malifax, since he's almost down. Would that be okay? Like, I can make a maneuver? Uh, you can make a Here. maneuver to get in range of him. And uh, you're, he's, he's, he's face... No, he's, he's probably turned around when Elias attacked him. So you're going to get an upgrade. You know, you see the upgrade slot uh, be um. between the blue and the green dice on your character sheet? Yes. You're going to get that on this roll. And then you're rolling one purple and one red. And then I'm going to use a dark side point. So also you're going to do the upgrade between the black and the purple die. So you're going to have an upgrade one on both of the upgrades. Okay. Okay. And uh, let me spin the point. And so here we go. Okay. One, one on each of the upgrades, and then a purple and a red, and you're rolling your lightsaber. Yep. Okay. Wait, I'm rolling my white life lightsaber as a weapon or as, as a, a weapon, skill? Yes, as okay. a weapon. Okay. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice. So <laughs> Malifax tumbles back a couple of steps and uh, and uh, kind of looks down at this mortal wound that's been, uh, been uh, given to him. And he looks back up as if he kind of now understands that his whole life was a mistake. Uh, and really the dark side is the wrong way to go. And then he just falls back into this pool and gets washed off down into a waterfall that goes under the temple. Can I say something sassy? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, depending on how sassy it is, you might take some dark side points for it. Or you might take some conflict for it. <laughs> oh, man. <I'm> just, <laughs> I don't say anything. I'll just stand there and triumph with like my, my hands on my hips like... Okay. <laughs> like a superhero or something. Right. Only I could see that, but it, I mean, it was good. It was a good triumph stance. Thank you, Lexi. <laughs> so, oh, so she actually did it. Yes, we did. Well, see, we got to get her a webcam. We got to get I know, her. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Roman stands up and uh, walks over to you. And oh, by the way, the advise are like totally in retreat now. They go, they go running out of, as quickly as they can now that their master has fallen. And so Roman stands up and she says, I was worried about that my message hadn't reached you. Uh, I probably only had moments before Malifax killed me when you arrived. Um, and I'm so glad this has brought all of you together. Uh, I, I think uh, that uh, it's, you all have a very bright and promising future. And the gatekeeper comes rolling into the temple and he says, yes, I agree. They've... They've uh, passed every test that they faced coming up this mountain, and I'm very, uh, very uh, proud of their accomplishments. I, I foresee a great future for them. Cool. I was in there 
looking at the disengaged lightsaber like, all right, so how do I keep this one coming in my hand? <laughs> <laughs> how the hell did I do that? <laughs> So the gatekeeper says, I'd like you to help me with one more thing. It's a, it's a very simple ritual that I can instruct you in. I, I want to purge this temple of the influence of the dark side. Uh, could, you, could you all come up here and sit with me, and then we can tend to your wounds? Okay. I'm looking at this big carbon scar across my gut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally yeah, about to die. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, so uh, he he instructs you on a way to meditate as you kind of sit there in a way that'll purge the temple, and you can all make just roll a force die. Be sure to clear your pool, and then just roll a force die. You all have force rating one, so it'll just be one die. Once Whoops. again, not with me tonight. There's a bunch of stuff there. Oh, what the heck? Oh, right. oh, red was there. Yeah, let's reroll that. Okay. Why am I still reading purple? On, um, uh, did you still have something in your dice pool, maybe? It's yeah, all I'm, zeroed out. I don't I'm know getting why. green and... Oh, wait. I right. have the upgrades still yeah. on. There we go. We'll just go with that. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, because it doesn't affect the light side. So. so we've rolled enough light side points that, uh, with the assistance of Romand, we'll go. I'll go ahead and roll for Romand as well. Uh, why did it not do anything? There we go. So uh, definitely with her assistance, you're able to uh, get rid of the influence of uh, Malifax in, 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 in the very center. Yes. You're just going to roll that yeah. one die. That's all you're going to do. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. No. Uh, my first one was a two wide. If we go with that. Okay, we'll just go with that. Yeah. Um, so. Because uh, it doesn't affect the light side. So. so we've rolled enough light side points that, uh, with the assistance of Romand, we'll go. I'll go ahead and roll for Romand as well. Uh, why did it not do anything? There we go. So uh, definitely with her assistance, you're able to uh, get rid of the influence of uh, Malifax and, and kind of restore this temple to a, its more pristine spiritual state that it was in before. And with that, your adventures conclude. Sweet. Uh, if you're planning on going ahead with these characters in some other context, and we might come back and play some more again with them later, I guess, as well, uh, you, you are going to be able to recover 20 XP from this session. And I'll go ahead and put that up in the forums. And then as well, uh, we will uh, go ahead and roll a die 10. I don't think anybody's taken conflict, have they? Anybody no. take conflict today? So you, I don't think so. So you can all go ahead and roll a d10. You just do a backslash roll and then d10. And then uh, you get to add that to your morality rating. Uh. Hey! Wait, how? Wait. Look what I did. So wait, backslash... See, see what I just typed in chat? That's what you want to do without the quotes. Unrecognized. Oh, do it. Does there need to be a... Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Hey, I made Paragon. Oh, wow. Already? Nice. Well, yeah, I, I got 74. I, I'm 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 impressed the way Daykosh is like almost a total pacifist, and IG will like shoot at anything in sight. <laughs> That's a great contrast yeah, think, let's see. of characters. Lots of range for Brad. Hold on, Lexi. Hey, I'm a, I feel the same way too. Elias is very forward in what he does, and very, yeah. I, I, you know, very you know got that yeah. protector spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Laurel has got that very. Yeah. 
I'm gonna let these oh, fools just that, be yeah. stupid and then save their ass. You know. <laughs> what are you not putting I was in the stream? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I am gonna end the stream. Thanks to everybody for showing up uh, uh, and for helping out in the chat. We've loved having you guys. Um, I'm actually gonna be r running the beginner game in the uh, in uh, the Roll Twenty Con on Friday uh, afternoon with a new group of players. And uh, so I'll, of course, be looking forward to uh, to with that to running this game again with that group, and uh, and uh, so the stream is done now, and uh, we'll see you on Friday. Uh, the Wayward Spirit campaign, different campaign, should be on next Thursday at seven thirty as well. Thanks for being here, guys.